Hello and welcome to CTS's video series. In this video we are going to go over how to submit a stop market order. To submit a stop market order you first need to enable it on your order toolbar located here. On the order toolbar you will see there is an S located here. This is the stop market button. If I click left click on it once it will change the color from black to orange. That means it is active and I am now using that function. If I left click on it again, it changes back to black and I am no longer using that and I will be submitting just a regular limit order. Also, if you do not see it in this box, you can check your drop down here. If you do not see it within the drop down, you can go to your main properties here, go to the contract tab, and go down to the order toolbar section and enable or disable anything you want to see on the order toolbar list. Now we are going to submit a stop market order. I'm going to left click on the S. It is now active. I'm going to go over to the volume picker here. I'm going to click the up arrow to select a one lot. You can also click this drop down here and it brings up a number picker and you can pick your quantities this way. I'm going to leave it as a one lot. Now to submit I need to click in the bid column or offer column depending on which type of order I want to do. So I'm going to click submit a buy stop at 5221. I'm going to click in the bid column and notice now you can see I am working a one lot buy stop at 5221. You can also confirm it in your order book in the working column or the all column. Now I'm going to submit a sell stop at 5204. I left click in the offer column and notice it is working a sell stop at 5204. Another thing to take note of is notice the stop button stayed active while I was after submission. You can set it so that after submission the button turns off. We go to the main properties to do this. Go to main properties, contract, and you go down to the submission section and you need to enable reset order type. I left click here to enable it and notice now the stop is turned off. I'm going to turn it back on and now I'm going to submit a buy stop at 52.23. Notice the stop turned off. Now to cancel or revise these orders you can do it a couple of ways. First we're going to go over the revisions. For revisions you can left click and hold on your working order in the my offer or my bid column so I'm going to revise my sell stop. I'm going to left click, hold, drag, and I'm going to drop it in at 5208. You can also right click on an order in your my bid or my offer column and it brings up a revision ticket. I'm going to click on the stop price here. I'm going to click the up arrow to change the price to 5224. You can also change it using this number picker here. I click revise and now my order has revised. To cancel these orders you can either click left click on any individual working order so I'm going to cancel my buy stop at 5223 so I'm going to left click on it once and it is now canceled. You can confirm it in your all section of your order book or the canceled. Now I want to pull the remaining two orders I have and since I want to pull them at the same time I'm going to click this pull orders icon right here. And notice both orders were pulled and I am no longer working anything by checking my order book.